All right, well, forgive me if I got snot coming out my nose and I can't really pronounce my words because I'm freezing my balls off. It's so typical. If I'm not sweating like a baboon's ass in mating season, then I'm freezing my balls off. And, and today, it, it's bloody cold. But as I always say, the show must go on. Pretty sure I actually don't ever say that. So let me clear up a few things that people always say about Range Rovers. So they often say that Range Rovers are very expensive. That's a fact. They don't have good resale value. That's a fact. Um, they always have problems. I have to say that's not actually true. This is a performance vehicle. Performance vehicles need to be taken care of and this is no exception. One of the big issues that I've found in Range Rovers is the air ride suspension. I love the air ride suspension but if you have one that has rust or it's losing its compression, it can be a pain in the ass and the air ride suspension is very expensive to replace. So if you are in the market for a Range Rover, especially an older one that's used, make sure you check the Carfax and always look underneath the car and check out that air ride suspension. I recommend that if you do have a Range Rover, you take it to a factory certified mechanic uh, and not just Joe Blow down the street that has a wrench and a couple of spanners because these things are technical, especially when it comes to the computer system. All right, let's start with the front of the car. Uh, upgraded the fog lights. I put a little uh, LED bar on the front uh, just for night driving. These headlights are brand new. Um, got them from uh, Europe and actually had them shipped to Lightworks in, I think it's Oakland, New Jersey. And these guys pulled them apart and put the halo rings in there. Um, all the uh, high beams and driving lights have been uh, upgraded to LEDs. And the guys at Lightworks, I tell you what, they did a phenomenal job. And you can see from the photos what they look like. They're absolutely gorgeous. And upgraded all the badges, black on black, the grill. Am I forgetting anything there? No. Moving around to the rims. These are the factory OEM 22 inch rims. The 2011s come with a 20 inch rim. Completely rebuilt the braking system on this car. Um, from lines to calipers, rotors, as you can see, the rotors are not factory. The calipers have been completely rebuilt, sandblasted, painted, um, and I've got the Ferrodo brake package on this thing, just like the Holden. Coming around the back, those are not factory, they are the glow tail lights or brake lights, uh, G-L-O-H-H, -H, and I'll put a link to Glow's website um, in the description. Uh, they are sick. I absolutely love them. Um, they do a fantastic job at night. I've upgraded pretty much every single light on this bloody car. Let's go and take a look under the hood. Here she is. The five liter V8 supercharged engine, dual intakes. Um, it produces about 510 horsepower, about 440 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, this engine gets up and boogies. I'm telling you right now, it's a badass engine. Now I've replaced like the engine cover, um, this hood liner, I replaced all that because that was just tore up. I mean, again, it's uh, seven, eight years old. So uh, it had been very well looked after but uh, just needed a bit more love. So that is the donk. So it's got the keyless remote entry, so the car can be locked. As you come up to it, the car will unlock itself. That is the key. Like I said, I don't always show the key, but there is the key. whoop de doo uh, Has Range Rover on the side, just in case you've forgotten what sort of car you own. Um, and this is the inside. So there is the door trim. It's very nice and very simplistic. Um, it's not the most modern of cars because again, it's quite old. Um, door sills, beautiful Range Rover Sport door sills, stainless. Some WeatherTech mats. Uh, let's take a look around in here. And it's a little bit dirty because my girls like to trash it because it is a daily. But, uh, this is the inside of the Range Rover Sport. So basically, I hang my key there, 
foot on the brake and I press start. Yeah. Now the instrument cluster and stuff is oh, not as modern as uh, obviously the newer cars and as you can see down here ladies and gentlemen 32 bloody degrees yeah it's freezing that's Fahrenheit ladies and gentlemen um, but I gotta tell you I love absolutely love driving this thing your paddle shifts over here here's your lighting controls um, your fog lights here you've got the option to move your steering wheel electronically um, you've got your modes here so you can cycle through the different modes um, here is your cruise control options your phone options your stereo options here's the horn uh, in fact we we'll just honk it again because we have the park completely to ourselves um, this is a little bit outdated it's not color pretty much like the instrument cluster or the digital display uh, it's sort of a old Fred Flintstone black and white option this has tried to put some color in it but it is a little bit uh, outdated it does have I think six cameras um, and you can let's say the front camera we can click on it and enlarge it and then give us the whole view and that can operate while you are driving which is a nice touch uh, but you can navigation navigation I've never actually used the navigation in this car but there it is look at us we are pretty much in the water uh, so we're not using navigation phone options audio video 4x4 info your settings that in a nutshell is your infotainment system it's very simple because again it's the cars eight years old moving down here this is your stereo options or your music options your phone and audio and info i do love the old analog clock it's just something about having an analog clock in a car that uh, i love yep cd player because once upon a time that was the shiz um, this is all very self-explanatory this is your climate control down here obviously heated seats front and rear traction control on or off your parking assist heated seats and again your climate control it is very simplistic that is one thing i love about this car it's not a bunch of digital crap that takes a while to engage once you actually hit the settings so i know on the new range rovers you can uh, put your heat on and, and it takes maybe 10 20 seconds for the heat to actually start coming out of the vents because that digital delay through the software and computers and all that bullshit. Um, here you just turn the dial bang you get it so in here you've got your cigarette outlet and I guess that's the old school ashtray it's where I keep my millions of dollars down here uh, for some reason just in case you wanted to hide your cup holders they put this in here I'm not really sure why but it's here and uh, whatever it looks pretty good cup holders two of them automatic transmission foot on the brake reverse neutral drive now your backup camera it's probably going to be bright yeah because the sun's out but uh, that's your backup camera sorry about the flickering crap but I guess that's what happens when you film another screen hopefully you can see that it doesn't flicker in real life if that makes any sense uh, you can come down to drive and you are just in automatic drive mode however switch over and you are in sports mode um, with the manual configuration if you need it it's still automatic um, but you have the option of using your paddle shifters uh, while you're in sports mode and typically the sports mode will rev out just a little bit higher um, so that's a nice option and trust me when you put it in sports mode she gets up uh, these are all the different settings that the vehicle has and again you can change the ride height in this thing um, high and low settings especially if you're going off-road another nice feature is the uh, electronic park brake or e-brake um, as we call it over here just put your foot on the brake up for on push down for off very simple here is the center console it's kind of odd you have your iPod who uses an iPod anymore but anyway iPod and USB outlets here uh, here's a little collector thing for whatever little tray I don't know what the hell that's for that is a fridge believe it or not here is where you turn the fridge on it takes a minute there you go um, and I can hear it actually working and there's a bunch of crap in there that uh, has nothing to do with this vlog but this is a fridge I've never actually used it I'm sure it works just fine but I don't really have the need to use a fridge because 
again, it's freaking 32 degrees. The sunroof, typical sunroof. Very simple operations for the sunroof right here. Here's your interior lights. Um, so that is the front seat and plenty of room. You know, there's plenty of headroom. Uh, I'm not really concerned about headroom. The sound system in this car is mind boggling. The, probably the best in all the cars that I've ever driven or owned. The Harman Kardon sound system is just the clarity, the sound. I mean, it's just amazing. It really is. I can't say enough about Harman Kardon sound systems. Let's go and take a look in the back seat. This is the back seat in a Range Rover Sport. And it's actually pretty roomy. Again, with the stainless door sills. So that is the back seat. Anyway, let's go and check out the back. Here is the rear cargo area. Yeah, plenty of room. As you can see. Yeah, it is what it is, right? Not really uh, much to talk about, but this is the rear cargo space. 12 volt outlet, good on you guys. Thanks for doing that. Little uh, LED light back here for at night, which actually does a really good job. But yeah, there is the uh, rear cargo. So I've switched it over into sports mode and uh, we're going to do a standing start acceleration test. So you can see what this old girl's got. She gets up. Here's the thing, I want to act like a nut job, like I typically do in these vlogs. And I know uh, I've had a couple of comments um, on some of my vlogs where people have gone, this guy's not even taking it serious and he's a dickhead. And well, look, go and get stuffed, okay? That's what I have to say to you people. Life is short, I'm gonna have a bit of fun. And I, like I say, I've never proclaimed to know everything about cars, um, especially some of these ones that I get into because it's the first time I've ever driven it. And I'm not spending hours and hours researching the car before I drive it. I'm not Doug Demura. I'm not getting paid a, a fortune to review these cars. This is on my own time. I do have a career, um, so it's not like I can just get out and review these cars whenever I want. Alrighty, you scum sucking pigs. That is about all she wrote today. I hope you enjoyed the 2011 Land Rover Range Rover Sport Supercharged model. It is a beautiful car. Uh, I did my best to cover uh, the pros and cons of the car, especially if you're in the market for uh, a Range Rover around this year, 2010, 11, 12, what to look for in regards to concerns, uh, air ride suspension, service history, uh, clean Carfax, all that sort of stuff. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave some derogatory comments about how I'm a dickhead, please do. Just leave it in the comment section below. But until next time, thanks for tuning in. Uh, abracadabra, this vlog is over.